boxes. Here I have the the lock of my 2002 330 convertible blue box. Okay, and man, as as many of you know, the fr 6 glove box locks usually breaks okay and in the case of the convertible ones it has an electric mechanism that locks the the latch in place when the soft top is down and you can't get it open even if you try with your key okay it won't it will, it will not open until the car is unlocked in my case when I bought the car the lock was broken and also the gear that goes in with the electric motor was break was was broken as well so today I'm going to disassemble the this piece apart I go through the pin that usually breaks and don't let you open the glove box and also I'm going to retrieve the gear and the shaft gear that goes with the electric motor in order to draw a new one on SketchUp and then printing on a 3D printer so let's go I hope you enjoy it just one more thing if you kind of like the the video please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel okay let's go so this is what you find when you take your locker out of the glove box okay it has the connector that goes to the car wireness wire harness okay and this is the switch okay and I have to resolder it in order to make it uh, easier to reassemble it note this white grease here uh, it's because I I've opened it before sometimes when I bought the car it's assembled to in order to fix the, the locker because it was stuck and I couldn't open my glove box so what usually breaks inside the, this locker is this piece right here okay it has a, a pin a white pin made, made of the same plastic as this whole unit white unit here okay and the, the thing is this mechanism is so hard to open it's so so hard to open that within time it breaks so what i use it to in order to repair it it will this is a how can i say i'm a dentist okay and uh, implant implant on dentist and this is uh, a screw that comes with a uh, mounter on dental implants so I drilled a hole here and put this pin it's a titanium okay pin and it may uh, it's it's working and making a good job I've done it before using a, using a small screw but it came loose and once again I had the glove box stuck in closed position so this time this pin it's uh, almost five to eight millimeters long and uh, so I, I use it bef uh, I prefer using it okay so this is what breaks it goes inside here and when you try to open this thing spins and the mechanism here does does this movement okay run like it here it's so damn heavy to make it moving okay 
so this is the reason it breaks so now I'm going to open this part this is where the electric motor and also the gear I have to retrieve is place it in so let's go let me find the let me see this is an NX too small too big I'll be right back so uh, I don't have the Torx, this is, this is supposed to be a T5, so I'm going to use a, uh, an alley key, which will do the job. That's what we have inside. Okay, so this is the motor, electric motor. I said I mentioned before. Okay, and there's this infinite shaft right here. So the motor spins, and there's a a gear, approximately with. Uh, 1.5 times bigger so you can increase the torque and this is responsible for locking the mechanism and not letting the the thing slide okay uh, this is the mechanism so when it's on the lock position These pins rest inside here, okay? This pin here rests inside here, so it's locked. When it's unlock, unlocked, this piece, white piece here comes back to here and gives a sign to the, to the system that's unlocked. Note that uh, in my case I have I had soldered the the wires back into the switch okay but uh, as the motor is not working on the mechanism whenever I unlocked the the car the glove box is still remain locked and also the the trunk okay so i had to remove the wire <coughs> in order to whenever i unlock and lock the car the trunk locker uh, would work okay it has a feedback response whenever the glove box is locked the trunk will be locked as well so now I'm going to remove the gear shaft and try to replicate rep, replicate it on the SketchUp. And if it if it works fine, I'll leave the the file the SKP file so you can so you can download and print it yourself and have it have it back working again okay so let's let's move to the to this catch up I'm going to do uh, some measurement measurements here I have to count how many teeth this will have and also make it bigger probably approximately 1.5 times bigger and I have to measure this the whole shaft I have to, if, uh, anyway, I have to do some measurements and go through the, the SketchUp. 
I'm going to try to record the trials on the SketchUp. Okay, see you soon.